in this society. I am betting they have polygamy, and that was his younger wife. For some reason, in some cultures, that happens when a family member die, or some someone has to make a sacrifice, or slaves do at the very least. And you're right, Bodho. I I've killed. I've killed the golems no problem and then I find the, the L4 Drowner and he almost kills me one sh in a one shot situation, that's ridiculous. Yeah, wolves are also a problem, they are fast and they move in packs. That's why I started using Axie to avoid fighting at all. With Axie, I just can run around like a coward and make the enemies kill each other. That's my strategy for survival. You know what? Let's continue to be colors and completely disregard this momentous occasion by hitting on that woman. You smell wonderful. Geralt, we're at a funeral. You smell wonderful at this funeral. Skellige! is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates of Caer Troll stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forward. And the king is dead. Imagine that. <laughs> you think he's a wizard commander? That guy more likely than not is just a, a priest. But yeah, that's an epic beard. Well, Boor, you're right. People apparently believe that the older wife should have been the one making the sacrifice. Maybe the, the young woman was angry with the other lady because she was not showing that famed, uh, what could you say, biking disregard for life or di disregard for fear in the face of death. Maybe the other woman grow, grew weak in his old age and this woman was filled with contempt for her i don't know i don't i, I fought a grave hug i fought a, a bunch of water hugs and they do hit hard and and fight dirty as well i, I gotta respect those monsters but you know who who are also annoying the foggets those foggets are really fucking crazy. Actually, I think one killed me. Did one kill me or almost killed me? I don't remember. Okay, let's just, let's keep consistent. We have been hitting on her. Let's just ask for the happy ending right now. Haven't seen each other in two years. I want a solitary cottage by the sea. I want to lock myself inside with you. Stay there for a week. What would we do there for a week? Got so many ideas. The one with the rope you use for trophies. That one seems interesting. Ooh, she beat. Yeah, fog, it's drowners. Drowners are easily countered. Neckers are annoying because of all the acrobatics. And they can also disappear into the ground. Okay, let's be playful. Reading my mind again. Mm. What's more, I like what I see. Ah, why did trees go? I like trees better. I actually don't use potions that much. 
boer. Been to Novigrad. Siri was there, looking for a way to lift some curse. She's not there anymore. You're certain? Heard it from Dandelion, with no embellishments. Do you know any more about this curse? Not much. Siri ran into some trouble, never finished what she went there to do. I recovered a phylactery. She was looking for a way to enchant it. I'll look at it later. Velen. Awful place. Somehow Siri wound up at the castle of the local ruler, a baron, self-proclaimed. This was after she was injured. Injured? Was it serious? Don't think so. Must have recovered because this baron sent her on to Novigrad. Think she was looking for you at the time. These witches Siri came across, she was lucky to escape them. Witches? Creatures more like. Can't say exactly what they are, but they're dangerous. Very. Also ran into an old friend of ours in Velen. Kira. What on earth is Kira Metz doing in that wasteland? Hiding from witch hunters. Listen, she told me an elven mage had been there looking for Siri. Good. You'll need to tell me more when we have some time. I also have been dodging the rounders, but uh, as Commander Spike says, I rely too much on Axie because it is broken, it is overpowered. I don't know why they made Axie so good. It just makes fighting bosses extremely easy and packs of enemies even more easy. Only the guys that are immune to Axie are a concern. And unless they are fast, it is easy to kill them. And this is not Nilfgaardian armor, it's a, I think it's Redanian. A Redanian... I, I will show you now it once we get out of this conversation. But yeah, Othul definitely the beginning of the game is the toughest. I became so good at traversing White Orchard without dying. But yeah, you're you're like a babe in the woods in the beginning. Well, we shall see how that commander. Uh, really, commander, the end missions are are one of those where you, if you fuck up once, you die, huh? How about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Art Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Siri was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. I, I don't use Quen much, but I do have it leveled up in case Axie doesn't work. That's my go-to backup, you could say. Yeah, Quen is, is the second most useful skill. Other than that, they are a piece of garbage signs, in my opinion at least. Ermion's head of the Skellige Circle? Haven't seen him since... Um... Since Siri was a little girl. I doubt he'll do you any favors, not even for old time's sake. So I knew the druid, huh? Maybe when he was a little child. And he played in my lap. So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. Wait, Wolf! Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake, and I'll not accept any excuses. I've an important matter to discuss with you. Guess our solitary hut will have to wait. Crack on crate someone we want on our side. I shall wear black and white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Clark, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. 
We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go. Choose something. In the meantime, I have something to do. Mm. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. Not a fucking party, are you serious? 47 points in the sign street. I don't know, Bur. I. I. Uh, let me. No, okay, we're out of that, so let's talk out my character. First, you wanted to see the armor. The armor is Ridanian Halbedier's armor. There you go. Ridanian. I did remember it was Ridanian. Now, the character itself. I I went for that for Axie at the very beginning. Puppet was the the ability that caught my eye. And I invested a little bit on Quinn, but I don't see any reason to get this. This is a piece of shit. This shield. Basically I use Axie. If Axie doesn't work, I switch to Quen and start dodging and, and moving around, avoiding damage. And I got this one because it gave me a lot of stamina regeneration. That was a dumping ground for points early on. Then I decided to go to this tree because of this ability. Again, Oh, really is ability on dying. If if I reach zero and I have adrenaline points, then I don't die. That's great. And this one, gain one adrenaline point as soon as you enter combat. These two will make it difficult for a one shot to kill me. You know? And I haven't played Dark Souls Commander, so I really don't know how the bosses in Dark Souls work. Uh... I don't know if, if it's true you cannot beat them in the first try. Yeah, I have greater mutagens, a blue and a green. I haven't been able to make a red great mutagen. It's really difficult, to, truly. Next, yeah, but how that's true. Red mutagens are difficult to combine. I have a bunch, but they are all for specific enemies and I cannot combine them it's bullshit really but regular generic mutagen sword and that I spent a point here for extra vitality and that's it I'm I'm aiming to get razor focus right away Yeah, Bur. I, I actually remember farming, farming. What was it in the in White Orchard? Farming neckers. It was a dangerous thing, but really necessary. Neckers drop green and blue and warrior neckers drop drop uh, drop what red. Isn't it? And there is something else I learned. I died in that uh, botchling quest. I died in that quest. There's something I learned from that. Never believe the suggested level for the main quest. It's, it's completely bullshit. Always go a quest when you are above that level. I actually the second time I did I was like four levels above the recommended one something like that. At the very least it was two because that quest was tremendously difficult at the, at the same level as they recommended. Almost impossible if you actually try to save the 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 abortion if you can do that I have no idea if you actually can but yeah red mutagens are certainly the most difficult to find in my experience sorry to trouble you but I really have no choice what is it 
Our ship was wrecked against the rocky shore June and the last storm. I've lost everything. How am I supposed to help? I haven't even got the coin for the journey home, and with each day's delay, I draw closer to bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. Might have guessed you'd come around to coin. So, need a loan? Or is it just alms you're after? I should pay you back every last copper, I swear it. You need only call on me at my address in Novigrad. <laughs> Okay, whatever. I'll give him money. I scant some, and he may give me more later. He's a merchant. Usually, merchants end up selling me goods cheaper. Fine, I'll help you. I visit Novigrad often enough. Might stop by, see how business is going. Thank you. You'll find me in the port district. My name's Johan Bonner. See you later then. Well, Butthole, that's what I did. Well, in, in Belen, I explored every single nook and cranny, went all over the map, tried to score all the possible quests, all the, the locations that you could liberate or restore the people. Uh, I, I got as much experience as I could. But and I also use yeah, this that. stupid thing to measure the level of enemies. I got to in the height of that. It actually works most of the time. Because that's one problem this game has. A very big problem actually. Doesn't tell you what level an enemy is until, until you are very close to it, almost in melee range, which is ridiculous. Really, Burr? Jardin sign with 80% slowdown. 70% slowdown. Hmm. What I don't like about Jardin is that you need to get very close to the enemy. I'm more obsessed out not getting hit at all. That's why I use Axi. Axi works in medium range. And allows me to control the situation quite easily. While Yarden forces me to go close. And I'm sure in high levels it would be overpowered, but as you can see, I'm hardly of a high level at this particular point. <laughs> really, I told you, don't want to steal. Uh, this game actually punishes us stealing. One time I went off. Nif Guardians right. chased me half the map. Rain these, unlock fast travel points. Yes, please. Give it, give it all. Two hundred. It's a lot of money. Master crafted racing sound. I think I have a 71 already. So long. Let's read those things. Sorry about the the Apparently, okay. <whistles> what time of the year is the best for visiting Ark Skellig? Any time. To whom is such a sojourn recommended? To anyone who seeks adventure, craves miraculous views, and adores charming villages, this lard, last Ark Skellig has in spades. It is the most densely inhabited isle in the archipelago, though this does not mean it lacks for virgin forests or untrammeled landscapes. Particularly worthy of visit are the villages of Rambic 
Arnbjorn, and last but not least, Holmstein. One of the most important ports in all the Isles. Anyone lucky enough to enjoy the sea voyage to Arinbjorn will surely notice the majestic lighthouse guiding ships to its harbor, built at the behest of the famed Jarl Skorjald. It constitutes one of the most fascinating spots in the Isle and offers breathtaking views of the entire region. The most spectacular beast on Earth's Kelly Hour must certainly be that of Carol Throld. A fortress caught out of the mountain overlooking the bay and serving as home seat to the powerful Great Clan. According to legend, Grim Giar, mythical skeletal hero and founder of Clan and Great, carved the fortress with his bare hands here. Yeah, right. For more on this, see the history and culture sections. Yeah, that's very true, Pothole. My videos are long-winded because of... I, I think it was in my second attempt, I entered every single hut and stole everything. <laughs> but I've got it in, into the height of doing that at the end of the videos instead of the beginning. Uh, really, Uber? I, I haven't found it necessary to convert money. Although I think I did by accident convert a bunch of, of crowns into something else. But uh, I don't I don't know. Is there an actual exchange rate you can you can uh, take advantage of? An Skellig is a weary traveler's paradise. Those seeking respite from the hustle and bustle of urban life need no look further. Those yearning for peace, quiet and transcendental views, the kind that leave one short of breath and renewed in spirit, will find satiation on this isle. Here one may enjoy long walks along the most charming beaches in the isles, one whose beauty far outshines that of the decidedly overrated coasts of Kobir. Yet, the true jewel of Skellig is its sport, which is famed for its skilled craftsmen, considered by many to be the best in the isles. Skellig's shipbuilders have passed down the secrets of their trade from generation to generation for centuries, perfecting it into something which can profoundly and with no exaggeration be called an art. Naturally, as a result, one must wait twice as long for a vessel ordered from the local shipwrights than when ordering from lesser workmen. Lastly, it would be a crime to discuss Skellig without mentioning the superb and surprisingly sophisticated local cuisine, its speciality, sturgeon roasted to golden perfection in a sea salt crust and served with carrot shavings and a sprinkling of mint, that actually sounds great. Sadly, this dish, once a mainstay of every tired and seaside fish fry, now has become a rarity due to overfishing that caused a dramatic decline in the population of this delicious fish. Ah, okay, Florence and convert gold into Florence. What the hell do I have then? I remember Vivaldi offered me at least two types of currency, but they didn't make any sense. Since I don't actually know what place in the world uses what. Yeah, I, I, and I lost... I lost like a thousand or two thousand gold yesterday, Burr, when I was farting Tyler Durden. I, I lost that fight like ten times or maybe more. And he charged like a hundred each, each go, a hundred and twenty, something like that. The most southern, southerly thrusting outcrop of the Skellig Archipelago is the wild and untamed Isle of Faro. Visiting here is a must for experienced travelers and undeterred by unexplored wilderness and nature at its rest in both tooth and claw. 
which is not to say that Pharaoh is uninhabited, just that its private primeval landscapes, not its human settlements, constitute its primary attraction. Acting as a sole exception to this and providing a wonderful treat to adventure seeking travelers is the port of Harbiken, the home village of Clan Demon. With a bit of luck, one might find oneself there when the clan's warriors return from their overseas raids and divide their plunder. A day's long feast is thrown in the warrior's honor afterwards, providing an excellent opportunity for orgies, eh, for sampling local delicacies and observing local customs. For more on this, see feasts and festivals. Yeah, yeah, Burte. <laughs> well, it's not Tyler Dorden, it's Dorden the Tailor. But it's basically the same. That's the, the champion of Noigrad. Yeah, that guy is a fucking asshole. He has a little short jab that really kicks your ass. Took me a while to figure out how to hit him. The smallest of the Skellige Isles is also the birthplace of the Islanders' culture. Skelligers believe themselves direct descendants of Otkel, a legendary hero who was the first practitioner of the cult of Freya in the Isles. He erected a beautiful temple in honor of the goddess of Hindarshifol. Sadly, a temple has been closed to visitors in recent years due to concerns of the possible theft of the famous daemon Brisigaimen ornamenting the goddess statue. Otkel also constructed a fascinating fascinating garden near the temple. This can be still be visited upon making prior arrangements with the priestess's mother superior. An inciting option for those visiting the wishing to visit Hindarfail is the package excursion offered by the congregation of fairs worshippers in Pobis. Thanks to a long-standing agreement with the Isles priestesses, they can offer tours of all the local highlights at a very reasonable price. This is by far the best option for families with children or the elderly. So it's basically Disneyland. Hello Alpha, how are you? Yeah, new to the channel. Welcome. I hope you enjoy your stay. You had 60,000 gold, holy shit. <laughs> you know... For what do you need that money for gambling in? <laughs> gambling in. In went. What do I do if I die from falling? I die from falling, yeah. The only reason I won't restart from that is if it's some sort of bug, you could say. As long as it's combat related, I would die. I would restart, I mean. In combat related encompasses mm, fleeing. But let's say I'm taking a stroll down the down the beach and I jump and Geralt gets stuck in a crevice and is flung into the beach and dies. I won't restart over that. Yeah. I, I, uh, as I say in the rules, if you read below the stream, those are the rules for the no death playthrough. Restarting is related to combat deaths or yeah, things like that. But um, if I, I, I actually s make, you could say, and I don't think I read this, cabits around certain certain actions I'm out to take it all depends but as a as a rule if if I die fleeing for example if I die from a fall fleeing then I will restart if it's not fleeing it depends on the in the in on the context if it's my fault and not some silly stupid video game logic thing then I will restart 
Okay, once per spring, Andbeek was the second after Eskelik most frequently visited island in the archipelago. Among its ample charms are a prime location, picturesque scenery, and a sublime local cuisine. Sadly, the isle was recently devastated when some monstrous frost giant awoke from his long slumber and began murdering and destroying whatever lay at hand. Okay, we need to remember this place. Andbeek. And um, Pharaoh Isle. I think Pharaoh was the one with the primeval dangers. Yeah, in combat it is it is black and white. If if someone kills me, it doesn't matter what it is. If someone kills me, I'll restart. Uh, because you have to understand. It all depends. Let's say I was playing a, a, a regular Joe, and a regular Joe is is jumping from one building to another building, and he falls and dies. Well, yes, that makes sense. But Geralt is a hundred-year-old monster hunter with preternatural reflexes and the strength of ten Bengala bears, or whatever you want to say. That guy shouldn't, shouldn't die from falling off a fence, as Butthole says. It doesn't make sense. It's illogical. It's stupid. And therefore, because it does not fit the character, I wouldn't restart over that. But if he fell from the tower of the cathedral in Noigrad straight to, to the... To the sea, well, no one is going to survive that, is there? Okay, Alpha, I hope you have a good evening and your internet woes are, are solved in the near future. Yeah, exactly, what will use common sense to some extent. That's what I do. All right. After this occurrence, many realms issued an official edict of warning, cautioning the residents to avoid travel to Unbeek. Nevertheless, the island still attracts many travelers. There are no longer primarily lovers of carefree relaxation, however. Instead, there are adventure seekers and mercenaries hoping to earn the bounty put on the giant's head. Or barring that, at least get a glimpse of this fantastic creature with their own eyes. Though, this is indeed a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to witness such a sight. We are duty-bound to advise anyone thinking of visiting the place to postpone their trip until conditions improve, or even better, alter their plans and visit one of the many other isles, where risk of being disemboweled by a colossal man-beast is significantly lower. Great. What was it? I think it was Pharaoh, wasn't it? Let me see. Yeah, Pharaoh and Unbeek. We need to remember those places so I don't visit them too early. <laughs> An eight foot wall. I actually encountered a hog. I was running in the in the little bridge that goes over the moat in Crow's Perch. I was running in the middle of the of the of the bridge and Geralt went straight down a hole and, and died. A hole that was what? A feet to his left, if I remember correctly. Okay, through a spike rook is not the most frequently visited of the Skelliga Isles, one cannot deny it, it has a certain inescapable charm, particularly bewitching are the snow-caped peaks towering over its southern and western shores. Spike rook will surely please lovers of the martial arts. The northern portion of the isle is home to a famed arena where local warriors test their strength in no holds barrel bouts. South of the arena lies the village of his Borlag, home to Clan Bokbar, located on a picturesque bay. Sborlag is particularly lovely to visit in the summer and around the feasts of Belle Twain. South of Sborlag sprawls a primeval wilderness that serves as Clan Bokbar's chief hunting grounds. 
Visiting the southern portions of the isle should be reserved only for the extremely experienced travelers, for they are completely wild, unhospitable, and in height and deprived of human settlements. The area is crawling with dangerous creatures of all kinds. One should also show particular caution when traveling near the caves alongside the coast. Spike Rook, okay. Three isles are complete death traps, of course. Oh. Yeah, Geralt has weakness. Oh. That's his Achilles heel, eh, Burr? <laughs> if only the vampires knew. That's uh, ridiculous. I actually made those those rules when I was playing Assassin's Creed in another rules. The first time something like that happened was like this. I was in Acre, I think, and and the Templars were throwing stones at at uh, Altair. One hit him. And he lost his footing. And I said, okay, I need to get the fuck out of here. Another hit him. And he was started falling. And I said, shit. He hit a stall or some sort of, of uh, linen. I don't know. It was in the middle of the, of the tower. He hit it, broke his fall, rolled into the street and died. And, uh, and he lost all his life when he hit the pavement at what? A snail's pace? I don't understand how that was even possible. So that's when I made those rules about uh, illogical deaths. On the other hand, I actually once killed myself. The hell is going on? Bran was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's troubles very much derive from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. Well, this one is about hungry. I'm actually running in 1.04, and I don't plan to to change the patch because this one gives me a smooth gameplay and previous iterations actually were horrible. Introduce me. This is my friend Geralt, and this is Berna. Widow of the dear departed Bran. The Queen Mother. It's a pleasure to meet you, Geralt. You must forgive me. But on a day like today, I'm afraid I cannot indulge in my penchant for long conversations. That's a heavy axe. I see you chose your own outfit. You know, of course, that together we look about as good as lace frills on a battle axe. It's true, she... Everyone's got their style. She told me to go to some place. I don't really give a shit. <sighs> don't like funerals. Don't like feasts. I know. You also dislike underdone meat and being teleported. But sometimes we must overcome our disgusts and prevail. Okay, thanks a lot, Patron. I appreciate your support. I'm actually thinking of watching that 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 uh, series. Then no beans beans bone was in it. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Crack wants, but when we meet with him, we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. I dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company. Do you plan to compliment me on my thing? I plan to tell you what I think. 
Ah, uh, get old. Okay. Really, McConaughey is in that series as well. And it's a no, star is spangled. Brad, sheep's milk cheese. Our wagon's full of loot. We red. And also that guy. What was his name? Geralt, there's something I've been meaning He's to He's Irish as well. Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Hmm. Must say it suits you. Huh. That's what I was going to say because the ladies love it. <laughs> Lady Yennefer, sir. Greetings, Arnbold. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. Nice to meet you, too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. They come to see the claimants to the crown. We wanted to talk to Croc on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Follow me, please. Us here. I asked them to. Wanted to meet the notorious witcher Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your face mates. Allow me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand. Blue boy Lugus, madman Lugus' firstborn. And choking down a stockfish over there is Otric on Hindar. Well, it looks like something is scratched her face. Not a beauty. My previous attempts. Okay, the the third attempt I died in the botchling, botchling uh, quest for the Baron. That quest where you have to. Uh, you have to cure, not cure, uh, lift the curse from his son, the abortion, the whatever you want to call it. The second attempt I died against the griffin in White Orchard. And the previous attempt, I think it was a, a, a drowner in White Orchard as well. I think that those were... No, I've never been as far as this point. This is blind. Okay. Seems they set us with the sons of Jarls exclusively. Sarah's on freight is the daughter of a Jarl, Garrett. Jarl's daughters are in no way inferior to their sons. Do you know every last one of them dreams of being Bran's successor? Look at him. Likely not. Saris is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to that about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now you mention him. Just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I'd beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you're in. If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Uh, more racing, why not? I spent half the night doing that. Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! 
Yeah, I don't like racing either, poor. But drunken noblemen, what here. else are they going to do? From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first wins. I'm ready. You'll start when I sound the horn. Guessing I'm running on my feet. A goat? Jump on the goat! I hope there is not a monster in sight. Well, at least it's not. <laughs> it's not Roach. I hate Roach. That woman had no chance. This is the true test of his strength, because using a horse. The horse is doing all the work for you. Here it's actually the guy with the most stamina, or girl. She's still putting up a fight, but no no human is going to eat a witch running. At least not me. I'm a master runner. I won, but only by a hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing. And I lost. We best go back to the week. Win! Let's. We can have six here. Okay. Apparently not. <laughs> Let's drink and race on foot. Uh, yeah, racing on foot it makes sense for for people that value martial strengths. See the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. Lost to a witcher, Sparrowhawk. Didn't likely happen to any of us. Enough of the natter and let's drink. Who cares? I'm immune to poison. Just service. Pass the mead and a tankard for the man. To Bran. Me want for nothing in the world beyond. To my beautiful companion. Ooh. What an asshole. You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. Okay. Do you have no shame? Shame? Why would I? The queen should join her king on his last journey. Tradition demands it. There you go. That's why people are angry with her. Geralt, this is Holger Blackheart. Verna, Bran's widow and our hostess today. We've already met. Widow? A widow's duty is to lie beside her husband. A widow's duty is to care for the king's son. Not by our customs, it ain't. Your customs are barbarous. Oh, <laughs> holy shit! Nah, I'm still sober. One little drink is not going to ring get all down. Much less of beer. Not our place to criticize, Yen. All peoples do things their own way. We're talking about the self-immolation of women, not about decorating trees for you. Harsh custom, but this is a harsh land. Tradition is Skellige's backbone. People make laws, and people can change them. Let's move on, Yen. I time we did as well. Come, Svonriga. Ha! <laughs> a scheming whore. Refuses to admit her reign's end. Brand knew how to keep her in line. Let's drink to his name. Yes! <laughs> to Bran. <laughs> Come, Geralt. Stay in true the fight with us, Geralt. Holger, to your health. Especially that black hand. Oh, 
Now I've attached. May the Emperor of Nilfgaard's prick stay as soft as a noodle, so there'll be no foul spore to take his place. Ooh, that cut deep. What did you say in the beast sailors? Our isles are in for hard times. Okay, Arnibald. Yes. He's smelling his armpits with a disgusting individual. Tell me, Lucas. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Yaldona and Hinda, and Yarl Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen? Is a common <laughs> goat fucker? Call me a goat fucker <laughs> one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha ha ha! Give me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Settle this outside. Who the fuck are you to advise me, eh? Someone with better manners. You insult Bran's memory and Kraft's hospitality with this. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the Black Ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing, but over war with the Empire is another. Awfully mouthy, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Okay, I think Jennifer can can defend herself. She actually seems to enjoy poking these guys. Calm down, Lugos. No one should teach me how to fight. That was not my intention. Come, Geralt. I believe this discussion's run its course. Greetings, Geralt. What's new on Hindersfjall? New. Lofoten lies in ruins. The garden's been devastated. And now we must deal with an Ulfoden. In short, everything's ground. With Bran gone, by my count, that makes you the eldest of the Jarls. Aye, it does. But I trust it'll not be for long. Uh, not like any of the others stand out, age you? Nay. But I'll gladly pass the honor to the next in line. I've lived my fill, steeped my hand in the blood of foes, felt the warmth of the southern sun and the bite of the northern winds, the touch of women of the east and west. Now I wish to die a death worthy of song. Ah, but it's because obviously you know. And I didn't put it in the title, I forgot. I'm role-playing Geralt as an emotionless mutant, a guy that really doesn't care about what humans do to other humans. He only cares about killing monsters, monsters, and they're stood as evil magical creatures. That includes... Uh, Anyone, anyone that can use magic, witches, uh, warlocks, witchers themselves. Humans can do whatever they want. They can be an, as depraved and as cruel as they desire. And it's not my place to judge. That's why I don't get involved in most any fights, unless a friend uh, asks me to. Farewell. Well, what is it? Just out of curiosity, they call you Madman. Ah! <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> that was scary. Yeah, that's. Uh, I'm trying to do as much a neutral, true neutral Geralt as I can, of course. It's almost impossible, but that's my goal at least. That's the reason I'm not doing that quest out killing Radoid, because as far as I can see, Radoid is just not your regular king trying to conquer more land. So. Two clans on one island. Tough to be neighbors so near each other. A neighbor is one who lives nearby, not one who stole half your home. The Enclave seized our lands. In the days of Harold the Cripple, that was three centuries ago. Doesn't change the fact they had no right. I'll rid Art Skellig of crack and his brew yet. Okay. Farewell, Lucas. Let's go to his audience with Jennifer. What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. Let's go. I brought my swords. Take it, Ermion won't be there. That's right. And what's the purpose of this visit? We're looking for an object. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it. Come, Geralt. The Mask of Oroboros. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it, you'll decide when. Correct. Maybe that's what Umbrella Corporation discovered all those years in the future. Yes, it does extend to that. I don't get involved in any human on human violence. Or human and non-human violence for that matter. I don't sorry for full kind of defend the weak as much as I can avoid it. On the other hand, if bandits attack my yes, I will kill all of them. Not that like that's not that I value life itself. Just the natural order of things is whatever should happen without magic getting involved. That's how I look at it. Magic is something that was pushed upon the world and the purpose of, of a witcher is to minimize the impact of magic on the regular footsteps development of what could you say society Gods. reality hide behind the tapestry sparrows chip when starlings trapped what the jackdaws do jackdaws call goldfinches warble and cranes whoop grass peacocks Hawks scream, larks trill, and doves, they coo. That's all of them. Hmm. What about nightingales? All ah, right. Nightingales croon. <laughs> it almost seemed like they had sex in those three seconds. Maybe get all moves fast in the sack. <laughs> Maybe they didn't come. Okay. Kroon. <laughs> Who would have known? That's what rugged men talk in their off hours. Birds. Everyone needs a hobby, Isn't right? Tough to open. Surprises never end. 
See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermian spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. They also sense a clear magic. So he's a mage. There's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. Seems you were right, the commander. I guess if those crows are his spies, we are definitely caught already. He will know we were here, though he might not have proof. Seen uglier sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia, being romantic. That was completely unnecessary. Let's take everything. As much alcohol. The filth essence. Amazing how a hobby can render a man mysterious. Add one at Care More. <laughs> Please. Yes? Looks alive. I wonder if they are going to come to life. We won't put it past. Explore the mysterious room. Shit. A hundred loose and arrow if you saw that in the woods. I hate fighting with companions. Especially her. Not her. The... Who was it? Was that woman in the swamp? A base Forget the name. A projection. A reflection of Ermian appears on the surface. Something can speak to it. Okay. She has a card in the deck. Well, whatever. She sapped my what? enemies and woke them from up the axe. The door is locked. The animals. Ah, yeah, fuck. Out. I freaking knew it. Jesus Christ. What? Uh, we're poisoned, aren't we? Yeah. Defeat the aggressive beasts? How the hell? Where is my Gwen? Shit. Jennifer. Oh. At least they are not taking my health. I guess this druid took a page from from what was his name? The the Batman villain. The scarecrow, that's what's it. happening. You were hallucinating. You ran oh, at no. Ermian's animals. <laughs> so clearly, I had to calm you. Uh, must have looked strange. Your years of vigorous training at Care Morn finally paid off. Bested nearly all the stuffed beasts in here. Please. <laughs> Fine. We've passed the trial of taxidermy. The door stands open. Well, so uh, instead of <laughs> instead of po getting poisoned and dying, I hallucinate. Well, if that's a that's is that isn't a bad trip, 
I don't know what this. I, ac I think I actually. Ah, our dear druid's laboratory. We must search it thoroughly. The mask of Erberos must be here. I actually ate rotten meat. Letter bearing Ermian's seal. Wondrous world to the of druids. insectoids. Warns them about Ritual you. Ritual plants. Ah, what do you know? Raymond Marlow. A biography enhanced. That's the guy from The Witcher One. The Seems Ermian has the, real tobacco brought in. Detective. Poor Raymond. Skelliger's tales about the wild hunt. The islanders believe the wraiths sail on a longship built of the claws of dead men. It was in for light reading, too. The Corpse of Novigrad by Sasha Hadi. Dwarven Triple Mead. Laboratory worthy of an Imperial alchemist. Trail of Taxi Army, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> a goat carved out of Lindenwood, signed to Uncle Ermion. Little Ciri's handiwork. That's what she called him when he was her tutor. Really? Mm. So he knew Ciri. A sword in a stone. Things begging me to pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's not in the stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. Uh, that was funny. <laughs> Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. Need something else. Gotta look around. Isn't that the famous statue of some dude of the Middle Ages? Look at this. A detailed map of the Northern Kingdoms. Even shows spheres of influence over the ages. Out of date. Actually, it's quite recent. That's the black thing is Nilfgaard, the red thing is Redania. And I'm guessing the other thing is Colbeer. A child's skull. That could go in the hand, certainly. Hermion's wand. He's one of the few druids to use one. Pinecone. Didn't expect this. A large female. Hmm, a cone or a child's skull. It's a tough choice. Put the child's skull. Why not? Let's try again. Yeah, I think in mana. He reminded me of it. Is it? Uh, it's not. It's not Erasmus. Erasmus was much later. Some saint. I remember that much. So statue. How about a skull? <laughs> hmm. Guess you're no indecisive prince. Try the pine. What do you say we give it a pine cone? What? Mm, nothing. Oh, that's surprising. How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Are you serious? Huh. Seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? Ermion enjoys jests achieved at the expense of others. I have a sneaking suspicion the mask will be in here. Well, that sounds like a uh, golem, definitely. Geralt, come here! I found the mask! Yeah, it seems illogical. Well, a golem. This is usually easy to do. Except when you have a fucking mage that will spam some sort of a spell. That's the mask from the mask. Where is Jim Carrey? We've got it. 
We must return to the feast quickly before... <laughs> These guys are no problem. There is no as fuck. Just wonderful. Let me see if Axie works. Doesn't. Okay. I hate witches. That is spamming nature. Why do they spam? What can they cause you need? Ah shit. Game from a spamming. Fucker. Okay, let's wait until I regenerate the health. Uh, it seems to be a gentle giant, as they say. I never you saw it, so I find it completely unnecessary and annoying. As you see, there is a combat pausing. Okay. Uh, and no combat pausing claws. Hear that? Smoke. Shit. Gas. Great still closed. Gotta think of something quick. What? Are we going to die? Fuck. What can I do? Can I ignite it? We're going to die. The damn druid will poison us. This vape is deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something. Quickly. First thing to come to your mind. But air. Hold on tight. We're going to be teleported to a brown, aren't we? Well, that druid is really paranoid. <sighs> Damn, I tore a hole in my dress. Wait a minute, I must mend it. You know how to sew. Please. I'll enchant a needle. <laughs> I hate portals. Get out this such a douche. Jennifer is a tease. We must talk to Krak. Why? Think he misses us? Because I missed you. <sighs> Pleasure before business. Mm. 
the unicorn, isn't it? Oh no. I missed you too. Yes, it is. But I braved the couple. When are you gonna finally burn this piece of junk? My heart couldn't take it. So many memories. <laughs> Damn it, Geralt. Do you have any idea how much they cost? Come here. We gotta hurry. Croc's waiting. <laughs> Is that so? Perfect for play talk. Croc. We gotta see you to crack. Yeah, and let go of the mane. I know you. I let go. You throw us off. <laughs> Don't even try. My, oh my. Missed you. I missed you too. But one thing we can say about Jennifer is that she's much... We ought to get back to the wake. I must dress. Much more libertine than, than the other woman. Doesn't play hard to get. Like, what's her name? I have so much trouble remembering names. Yeah, it's a very well done scene, I agree with you, Bure. Tasteful. Hello, Crip, how are you? Tris, that's it, Tris. Very good. For a breath of fresh air. The claimants to the throne will step forth in a moment. No, heed my word. There is no greater act of valor than to fight a beast cursed by men and gods. The witcher! No greater deed than that done to serve the goddess. I don't know, I find trees much more beautiful. Thank you. But yeah, you're right. Janice Geralt's Geralt. And must now choose his successor. The king must be wise, the king must command respect, the king must have bollocks, with no lack of men like that. Let those who feel worthy of the throne of Skellige step forth. Now usually that guy is sleeping with the, with the mother queen. Or maybe they are related somehow. Can I throw my sword? Ha! Huh, the woman is going to enter the fray, isn't she? My son could not be here this day. Behold his axe! Behold his will! There you go! Bravo! She has more balls than most men. There, I'll bet. May the best man a woman win! Besides, she wants to fuck Geralt. What's got into her? She's your daughter, is she not? Now I know why she said she'd sail to speak her of. Ah, children! The older they grow, the more trouble they are. Come with me. All the more essential we talk now. <laughs> really, Commander? <laughs> Ganondorf. He has a slight resemblance to the N64 Ganondorf. Remember well her nan, her mother, what they were like. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. 
Siri was impossible to control. No telling her what to do. Had to have things her own way almost always. Why do you ask? No specific reason. She and Ceres, they're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. Yennefer claims Ciri's in trouble, and you seek her. That's right. If you require aid, gold, ships, anything, merely say the word. I'll give you all I can. And I know the last lives. I'm sure of it. When the blood of Rhiannon's daughters is shed, the sea grows white with fury. I'd mark such a storm. Do we need his help with Ermion? Then we just steal what we need from that old fuck. But that's something he can actually help us with. Maybe he can strong arm the druid. Need your help. Siri probably came here to Skellige. And very likely caused the cataclysm along the coast. The site upon which the druids focus so intensely. Ah, it's true. The site Ermion refuses to let us explore. Yeah, I remember now. won't let me explore it. We fought. We're not friendly now. Don't concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages. But Ermion's heart is in the right place. Am I right to assume he does not know you seek Ciri? It's of no concern to him. As I thought. At any rate, Art Skellig's my isle. You've my permission to investigate as you see fit. Okay. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. Anvil! Tell the druid I must speak to him. At the usual spot. I have one more matter to broach. My children. You remember Yalma? Well, he swore an oath to kill the giant of Undi. Nah. Set off and has yet to return. But as Ceres announced, that she's to set off on an adventure of her own. Got it in her head that Udalric is not man, but curse. Who the hell is Udalric? Can't help wondering. Got no plans to vie for the crown yourself? Think a good number of the Jarls would support you. A good number? Those opposed would be fierce, rabid. Madman Lugans would sooner see an elf guardian on the throne. Besides, man should know when to step aside. Hand the tiller to the youth among us. Take it Ceres wants to lift the curse. There's no curse to speak of. Ceres has decided she must match Yalma and sort out a deed worthy of a queen. Think she might need my help? You did plan to ask me for it. Why? The thing is, I don't trust Ulrich further than I can spit. Ceres won't listen to me, or her brother. Yet confronted by a professional who will explain why she's mistaken, she just might come to her senses. So yes, I ask that you explain things to her and bring her back. Okay. First, I need to find out what Ulrich is. Maybe it's a person, not a place. Giants. They've been extinct for ages. Anyone actually seen the one on Undvik? Aye. Dozens of refugees have. The giant drove everyone off the isle. I've welcomed what remains of Clan Tordalach here and Arts Gellert. I heard a rumor that an unnatural frost gripped Undvik before the giant appeared. It's true. At any rate, Yalmor decided to kill the giant and give the isle back to its people. A deed worthy of a king, he believes. My son gathered a hearty crew at the new port. They were to sail to Undvik, then travel on foot to Oskar, the village. 
But that many lads should have killed the giant long ago. Thus, I thought to ask you. You should start at the new port. Ask around. Kyalma might have told someone there his plans. Okay, Commander, have a good day. I'm also out to finish. As soon as I uh, talk to this guy, I think I'm, go I'm going to end the cast for today. But thanks for your advice and jokes. Hope I'll see you tomorrow. If either Yalmar or Ceres need help, I'll help them. I thank you. Now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. We must determine if Siri is still on Ardskelly. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Head south. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the shore of the bay. A successful feast on all counts, Carl. I will see you later. Okay, great. So let's select a quest and we shall pursue it tomorrow. Hmm, level 13, so stupid. Level 17, level 17. Level 13, level 11. Go to Pharaoh. Didn't they tell me never to go to Pharaoh, motherfuckers? That it was dangerous. Oh, no, I said it was. It had primeval dangers. Whatever that means. Meet Jennifer on the site of the magical cataclysm. Why not? So, thank you very much for watching, and I hope I'll see you tomorrow when we shall continue with our little journey into Skelliga. Look at that. A huge... Where the hell am I even going? She said head south. Well, I'm going to head then to all these locations on the way. I always travel on foot. I prefer it that way. So, and, and I can... Yeah. Get these three notice boards. That will definitely... Help uncover, I hope, some uh, places of power. But that's it for today. So, until next time, have a good evening. Goodbye.